Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW, part number UJ30A, hook strip and shelf, 16 inch, with three hooks. So AJW has three series, three lengths, I should say, of shelf and hooks. Uh, and this is the shortest version, the 16 inch version. It's going to be comprised of the three hook structure. Okay. It's going to be comprised of the shelf as well. Uh, weighs about 3.3 pounds approximately. So the installation of this is going to be a two part situation where you attach the shelf to the wall, okay? Then you will attach into the space the hook so it looks like this. The bottom line is it's a two step installation process. You're going to have the holes here for the fasteners which are not included by the way. You're also then going to take your small slotted screwdriver and remove one of these hooks so that you can get to the mounting points. And the way that you go about getting that off is again with your small screwdriver you'll loosen the set screw and they all will have set screws and these hooks are just common hooks from AJW and I will actually get the part number for those. Loosen that set screw, which will permit you to remove the hook when you bring it out far enough. Okay. That wall holder, which would be normally a wall holder, is welded. Then you'll get your access points right through there, and you're going to have to install that inside underneath the shelf when you are ready to install that. So this hook will then clip over. You will then tighten your set screw. And then you're all your installation is in real good shape at that point. So there is a link below this video to the technical data sheet. Um, let us take some basic dimensions of this first. They say that the shelf is 16 inch. Okay. Maybe a maybe a 16th short. The projection of the shelf about 5 inch. The overall height of the shelf to the bracket is about 3 and a quarter. Okay. The overall length of the hook backbone about 15 and 3 quarter its height about 3 inch its projection from the wall even though it'll be just a little proud of this because it'll sit on top of the other mounting brackets about 2 and an eighth inch okay so all stainless steel brushed finish now let's take a look at the technical data sheet on the screen and we'll also find the part number for the uh, individual hook, meaning if you wanted to put more of those hooks in the space. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so there's a link uh, to the tech sheet that's down here in the product brochure that we're going to go over. And that link is here to the technical sheet. We're G this, this model is the UJ30A, which tells us 16 inch and three hooks. Okay. The shelf is fabricated of 18 gauge stainless with a number four brushed finish, five inch deep. Bent down inch and a half with half inch returns. Um, I think what they are referring to is the face of the shelf. This is hemmed over so that there's no danger, no sharp edges. Um, and also, of course, increases the strength of the unit as well when you, this is in a U-shape pattern here. The hook strip, 18 gauge stainless and a satin finish. 
These are the UX 110 SF hooks. And let's take a look at those hooks individually. Okay. UX 110 SF. If you were to change that to a BF, it would be a bright finish if you wanted polished. That's how that would work, should you for some reason want bright finish. Okay. This client also ordered the B length as well, so he has some 26 inch with four hooks on here. And then you can do the C, the C length with five hooks at 36 inch. Um, they're all relatively common. Uh, you know, we've obviously sold all of those lengths. Now, once upon a time, there was a tech sheet that indicated a different quantity of hooks. Two, three, and four on the old tech sheet. The new tech sheet is three, four, and five. So I don't know. This technical data sheet is from 2011. Okay. The one we're looking at now is, <laughs> it's got the same revision date. Um, I received this document in late 2019. So if they were ever manufactured incorrectly or to this specification, I don't know. <clears throat> what the factory told me is that this was wrong and that this, with the, with the increased quantity of hooks, was indeed correct. Okay. Place unit onto the wall, making sure the unit is level and, uh, and uh, transfer mounting points, drill pilot holes, and secure unit with proper fasteners per application. Let's take a look at the product brochure since we're here. Now this is handy because you'll be able to go over all of the janitorial supplies from this manufacturer, from AJW. And they're going to have a complement, a full complement of these items. Hooks, this is going to be for a mop as well. These are, this is a spring-loaded, heavy rubberized um, mop holder that you'll push the mop handle up into and it will definitely stay there. Other hooks, these are the UJ23, the UJ22, those are really common. You see those all the time in commercial restroom facilities. I see them all the time in airports. Very inexpensive, very heavy duty. Uh, of course, we're dealing with the UJ30, and the B, yeah, and that's where it is. So they obviously have two, three, and four hooks mentioned here. So certainly at one time they were making them, or, or this catalog is incorrect as well. These double hooks are nice. Corner guards, very typical, very common. We'll sell those a dozen at a time to clients. These would be called stretcher plates or kick plates. Uh, kick plates when installed at the bottom, and that's what these would be, not stretcher plates, forgive me. They've got stainless kick plates. That covers all your janitorial uh, supplies. Let's finally, the link to the manufacturer's page, that's going to allow you to get to the product catalog. All of the AJW products that we sell, along with the link to the manufacturer's website. Let's finish up this video on the camera. Now in conclusion, the name AJW is synonymous with commercial restroom equipment. That link to the product catalog is there for your review. They have a full complement of Division 10 or commercial restroom equipment. I would encourage you to uh, review their catalog. Uh, there are times when their lead times are long, so do plan accordingly. And if you are on a lead time constraint, reach out to us. We'll contact the factory and find out what a current lead time is that they are comfortable uh, at uh, committing to. There's also on that manufacturer's page a link to the 2010 ADA Standards for Accessible Design. That's the ADA federal law, um, handicap compliance. That document is there um, because it is directly related to where do I mount stuff? Where do grab bars get mounted? Where do soap dispensers get mounted? What are the other obligations that I must meet as an owner, as an architect, as a contractor? as a uh, building engineer, as an end user, what are we looking at in terms of where to place everything so that handicap compliance is assured. So that document, um, it's been federal law for almost 20 years at this time. And uh, it's not a code, it's not a standard, it's federal law. So uh, want to know where to put grab bars? That's the document to go to. If you have any questions on the AJW, their part number UJ30A, 
two-piece system here or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.